Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Ark Survival, part 37. In the previous part, we died miserably. Oh, no! No! And, uh... Let's just get that Megalodon tame, shall we? Alright, as you can see, we are by the Megalodon, and, um... Things are looking pretty good. Now, what we want is for this food bar to reach about... A hundred. So let's just say 200 for the sake of being on the safe side. And when that happens, you just want to fill up the food for it. And then just remote use the food all the way up to it's kind of full of, of, of food. And, you know, it's feeling all good. Um, and then by that time, you're pretty much already, quote unquote, super tamed it. And your efficiency... Or efficiency. Now, your efficiency... Okay, I can't say that word right now. So, your efficiency... There I go, there I go. Come on, it was better. Come on, don't judge. No, your efficiency... Okay, fuck it. It should be better, at least. Uh, it should be about uh, the 70% mark. Um, which is better than what you could have done if you were just to... Tame it on a normal... Kind of standard... Procedure kind of... Thing, which I, I don't know. Come on, don't judge. You know what I mean. Um, so, I'll be back with you when this food bar is pretty much emptied out. As you can see, it just passed 200. So now, we go to just fill up these guys with a lot of meat and just force feed him. There we go. Give him a bunch. And as you can see, the taming is just... Flying up. And... So here we go. Instant tame a megalodon. Look at that beast. Look at it. Alright. So... What way? Megalodon... Oops. Lodoni. Megalodoni. There we go. Completely got them um, nailed it. And as you can see, also got some oil. Uh, oh, shit. Let's get up. Go up. <laughs> Oops. Alrighty. So, there we are. A Megalodon. Awesome. It's like our own little submarine, ain't it? Oh, yeah. And... Off camera, I also got one of these because, to be honest, there were like literally 30 around me. Not really, there was like 5 or 6 or something. And we already had to settle for it, and the only thing I kind of needed to do was just give it food. Which is pretty easy. So, I just did that real quick, flew back, and got uh, my saddle for it, and here we are. And then while I was waiting for the Megalodon to drop down to about 200 food, uh, I just went around and farmed a bit of oil. And in a second, I'll also show you... Holy damn, that this one contains a lot of... There we are. Okay. So, Meggy. Megalodony. <laughs> oh, the names, man. I'm so bad with names. Sorry about that. Okay, so... Now, you're here with me. Now... This guy, please do follow. Now, let's see, would it follow? It would indeed. So, how far up can we go with this Megalodon? Around here. This should be pretty much the limit, but this is also where I want them to be anyway, so... Perfect. Now... Oh, they're both following me. God damn. Don't do that, please. Okay, Maggie. You can stay there. Fishy. <laughs> Don't judge my names, okay? Don't judge. Okay. Fishy, you can go up here. And let's disable following for you. And now, let's go get some oil. Should we actually kill this? Oh, I would laugh my ass off if we already lose our Michelodon to another Michelodon. Ah, uh, there we go. It's no biggie. It's no biggie. Alrighty. I'll see you down with the coal. Or, uh, actually, not coal. What the hell? 
The, the oil. The hell am I talking about? Alright, so here we are. As you can see, we're on the surface of the water. We're a bit out of the mainland. Um, actually, let me just real quickly get the level up. Uh, I'm thinking... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's get some, some more speed. Okay, that really did not help much. But it's pretty quick anyway. So what you want to do is just go like straight down and as you can see we already have some here and this this is an oil ore so to say as you can see when we mine this with a pickaxe um we get oil out of it i don't know if it works with all pickaxes uh like the stone primitive kind of one uh at least it works with the metal one so that's pretty nice uh because that one you could technically get without uh fish to help you come down uh, into the the deep ocean but let, let's just resurface here let like let me get a bit of breath again <laughs> that's the main problem then let's re um what is that redive i don't know um and see if what we can find down there now it's also like i would say personally it's kind of advised to take a tiny bit of um what is it called a tiny bit of okay here there's a lot of oil okay as i was about to say i would say it's advised to take a bit of um breath like how long you can keep your um your breath underwater because it kind of really helps you down there otherwise it would be drained in a matter of seconds so Get some oxygen. I, I have it at a 200 right now. I could actually improve it a tiny bit more. But at this very moment, I kind of find it... You know, it's a, it's alright. It suffices. What the hell? Michelodon just came from below and we're kissing. Look at this. There we go. Don't fuck with me, man. I was just trying to get some oil. It's not really yours as far as I know. So, again... It's pretty much just this. It's pretty straightforward. Not much to it. Says the guy that didn't know how to do it until today. <laughs> but that's not the point. Look at what I found. I'm in a cave. I I like I saw a bit of air coming up, and I was like, how can air come up? It's like, is there a, you know, those kind of air bubble kind of things you can find underwater? that technically you could use to get your breath back. I was kind of like, is that one of those? And no, it, w it wasn't. It was actually uh, an underwater cave. Pretty awesome. If I may say so, at least. It's not too big, unfortunately. Like the other, like, underground cave we found a few uh, episodes ago. Um, but... It's pretty nice, and the weirdest part is that you can actually hear the rain going. I don't know how that works. Um, because we're pretty far below water. Let me just show you when we go out of here. I don't really know if I need these crystals, and if I do, I already know where to find them. So, let's go back out. As you can see, there was like a tiny little opening here, and, and you can see these bubbles coming up. So I was like, the hell is this? And who figures it was a cave so let's just get some more oil with us now actually no because the megalodon is starting to get overburdened so let's get back to base yeah give me a kiss it's all right yeah give me that lovely kiss oh damn so many of you guys i can't even get away don't fucking tell me I'm gonna lose my Megalodon already. Fuck no. Oh god. Don't run into anything. Where are though? Where, 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 where are though? Yes. How to English. No. Not yet. No. Come on. You can do it, Mickey. <laughs> you can do it. What the hell are you doing? How is that possible? That's some 10 out of 10 acrobatics right there, man. Holy shit. 
we're back in the safety of our little water nest thing. I don't even know. Let's just see. Okay, so you can get some more health. Let's get some more health at you, because holy damn, you went down quickly when... Oh, obviously, there was like three or something Megalodons around us, so... Kind of... It's kind of obvious, right? Anyway... Let's get back to our little base and drop off the oil and see how far we are with everything. We're back and as you can see we kind of got a lot more oil than we need. Um, but that's alright, that's alright. So let's make this fabricator. And see what awesome things that brings. Awesome, we also just leveled up. So let's get some more oxygen. I kind of feel that that is justified. And I don't know if there's anything else that we need, like, um, we could get a saber tooth saddle, but it's not really needed. Um, I kind of think I have everything that is useful right now. Um, because these are more, well, lampposts could be pretty fun, but I don't think it's, like, it's not something we need. It's more of a luxurious kind of thing, right? Now, where did, there we go. Awesome. Let's place that bad boy and look at how it looks. Holy damn, it's it's massive. Um how to do this. I think we'll just be doing like this, and then we have a room separator, which is the fabricator itself. <laughs> Okay, so we can make GPSs with it at this very moment. We can make electronics and polymer. Weapon-wise, we can make a flashlight. Armor-wise, we can obviously make all of this lovely stuff. And why the hell not make it? Because our, our <laughs> chitin uh, armor is kind of going a bit on the bad side. You know, they're starting to grow mold on it. So... That's pretty much what we should do. Structures, we can make an industrial grill with it and miscellaneous can make this one. That would be pretty nice to get as well, but again, it's not something that is really needed at this very moment. So let us see. First off, let's... Okay, we only have three metal in here, so there's no metal to take from that, unfortunately. Alright, guys. So just... A quick little notion while we're here. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm butt naked, almost. Uh, we have a bit of metal in here, and this is all good. Though, now you're thinking, what the hell? It says, oh, requires gasoline to be activated. Hmm, how do we make gasoline? Well, how we do that is basically oil and hide. And as you can see, we already got a bit of gasoline, as I just put it in there. And the metal is still refining into metal ignits while we're doing this. So both of these processes can be activated at the same time. So that's really awesome indeed, isn't it? Let's just get some more gasoline going. And bring it over to this one and make our new armor. And look all shiny like the... I don't even know. Okay, let's... Get that last piece of armor, which is our pants, and then think of something new to do, because right now we just did all. Well, we kind of well, we could still explore a lot of the water, like of the ocean. We could still find some artifacts down there. I think, um, so I think that's going to be the next thing that we're gonna do in the in this series, and. Um, Hopefully we'll find something interesting, you know? <laughs> some more artifacts, some more of those awesome caves and all of that. And now for a final thing. Get to the jumbo! Okay, that was the worst Arnold Schwarzenegger ever. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that was all the time I had for this part of Ark Survival. If you liked this video, smack that like button, share it with your friends, and comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.